Okay, so everyone's talking about these AI chatbots, right? It seems like every day there's something new happening in the AI world. It's incredible. And today we're going deep on a fascinating development uh, coming out of China. Right. Uh, we're going to be looking at DeepSeek. DeepSeek. Now, you guys have probably heard of ChatGPT. Of course. Yeah, ChatGPT is like the, the big name. It is the big name. You know, that everyone knows. But yeah. DeepSeek is really starting to turn heads. And what's really fascinating is that it's achieving a performance comparable to ChatGPT, mm -hmm. but at a fraction of the cost. Yeah. So today we're going to really kind of dive into DeepSeek and try to figure out, like, what's making it so special? Right. What makes it different from ChatGPT and what this rivalry tells us about, like, the future of AI? Absolutely. Let's get into it. Let's jump right in. One of the things that's making everybody take notice of DeepSeek is this just mind-blowing cost efficiency. Yeah. I mean, you've looked into this. How is DeepSeek able to achieve a performance that's comparable to chat GPT, but with a training cost of under $6 million. Well, uh, one of the most fascinating things about DeepSeek is that they were able to reach uh, chat GPT's 01 model performance okay. for under $6 million. Wow. Which is potentially an 80% cost reduction in development. That's amazing. Yeah. So you can imagine like what, what can happen with this kind of technology right. if it becomes available to way more businesses and researchers. That's a huge difference because, you know, chat GPT has the backing of like, yeah. you know, some of the biggest players. Some serious players. In the entire tech world. Absolutely. Yeah. So how is DeepSeek able to even come close? Right to that kind of performance without that kind of backing? Well, it comes down to really smart software engineering right. and a different approach to reinforcement learning. Okay. So, you know, instead of using the most expensive top of the line H100 GPUs, yeah. they're using uh, more readily available H800s. Sure. And basically they're making them work a lot smarter, not uh -huh. harder. So it's not really about the hardware. Right. As much as it is about the actual the different frames. Like software, Yeah, right? the approach. Can you kind of break down for me, though, what reinforcement learning yeah. is in this context? It's a good question, and it's something that a lot of people have uh, have asked about. Yeah. Um, and the easiest way to explain it is to think of it like you're teaching a, a dog a new trick. Oh. Right? You give the dog a treat for every step in the right direction. Mm. That's essentially how reinforcement learning works for AI. Interesting. So these algorithms are constantly experimenting, right? Yeah. And they get rewarded when they produce better results. Okay. And so this actually leads to those aha moments. I see. Where the AI will suddenly figure out, like, oh, this is a more efficient way yeah. to solve this problem. So DeepSeek is kind of like a dog learning new tricks, except <laughs> the tricks are like writing code, right. translating languages. And all on its own. Answering complex questions. Just through that data. Wow. Which is very different from the way that ChatGPT was developed. That's really interesting. So in terms of like what each one can actually do. Yeah. Right. What are they capable of? What do those differences actually look like? Well, that is the big question. Because we've got ChatGTT. Yeah. Which is kind of already out there. Right. It's this established name. Global reputation. A lot of people know it. Yeah. And then we have DeepSeek. Okay. Coming in and saying, hey, we can do this too. Yeah. And we can do it cheaper. And we can do it better. And better. In some ways. So how do they actually compare? Well, one of the big things that DeepSeek has done is that they have an open source policy. Oh, really? Yeah. That's a huge difference. Yeah, they're making their models. So they're making their models. They're making their training methods and even their core technologies free. So you're telling me, like, anyone could theoretically just download yeah. DeepSeek's blueprints? Pretty much. And make their own custom AI. That's the idea. Yeah. That's wild. Yeah. So this could completely change like the entire right. landscape. It could revolutionize AI development. Because imagine like all these businesses right. that could now create these AI solutions. Customized to their needs. That are totally tailored to what they need. Right. And way more specialized okay. than what we've seen before. It's kind of making me wonder if like yeah. the days of these like giant tech companies Grenopoly. controlling AI are like, yeah. Are they over? Right, because what we're seeing now is like a shift, but, but. a fundamental shift in focus. So where is that focus shifting? Well, hardware is still important, of course. Yeah. You need the hardware to run everything on. Of course. But the real battleground, I think, is going to be in software innovation and model optimization. So it's no longer just about 
throwing money right. at the problem and getting the most expensive the most expensive GPU. Yeah. It's about getting the most of what you have. Yeah. Using what you have to yep. its yeah. full potential. Exactly. And DeepSeek is really showing us right. that, you know, ingenuity and focus on software yeah. can be just as powerful as having the biggest budget. Absolutely. And we're also seeing this with a rise in specialized AI models. Okay. You know, that are designed for specific industries or tasks. So instead of having this one yeah. giant AI to rule them all, right. we're gonna have like AI experts. Specialized AIs. In each field. In okay. each field, right. And this is where DeepSeek's open source policy yeah. really comes into play. Because you could, theoretically... You could train an AI. Train an AI on your... Own private data. Own data to automate tasks. Automate tasks, analyze trends, make better decisions. In any field. No matter what field you're in. It seems like we're really moving into... It's exciting. This whole new era. A new era of AI. Of AI. And DeepSeek is really shaking things up. Yeah. Not only with their cost-effective approach, right, but also with this open source policy. Yeah. But it really seems like the big picture is this move. The big picture. Toward smarter software and the more. Specialized AI applications. The specialized AI applications. Right. So this makes me wonder, like, what other fields or tasks could be revolutionized by these hyper-specialized AI models? Yeah. And how could this affect your own work or life? It's definitely something to think about. It's an exciting time to be following AI for sure. Absolutely. So thanks for taking this deep dive with us. My pleasure.